Southern Illinois Community Foundation works with both donors and nonprofit agencies to help those in need. Byron Fager, CEO of the foundation, says they're launching a new event called Give SI and hopes to help nonprofits all across Southern Illinois. We've identified over 70 nonprofits so far, and there's more being added every day that are out there doing work. Many times that we don't even know they're out there doing it, and they've been doing this work for many years. Give SI will be a community day of giving, running in conjunction with the global movement Giving Tuesday. Starting November 30th at 6 p.m. and running through midnight on December 1st, Giving Tuesday, any donations made on the GiveSI website to eligible and participating nonprofits will be eligible for the matching bonus pool of funds. Veterans Honor Flight of Southern Illinois honors veterans by flying them to Washington, D.C. for free. We feel it's important to give back to these veterans. Many of them think that they've been forgotten about. The Boys and Girls Club of Southern Illinois has stepped up to meet the needs of the region's youth. Our mission is to inspire and enable all young people, especially those that need us the most, to realize their full potential as responsible, caring, and productive citizens. St. Francis Care in Murfreesboro is a no-kill animal shelter and a low-cost spay and neuter clinic. If you can show need of most any kind, we can spay and neuter your pet for uh, a minimal charge. The Southern Illinois Food Pantry Network connects 95 food pantries across the region. We work with health, social service, and other community agencies and bring those 95 food pantries together to support infrastructure, education, and reducing food insecurity in our communities. The African American Museum in Carbondale is a nonprofit organization that strives to educate the community on African American culture. We're not just a museum where you come in and look at the artifacts on the wall of what we have to show you. We have plenty of that but we are a community-based organization. A lot of these agencies that are represented today are working very hard to respond to the pandemic. And any help that can be provided to these agencies as they work on their response would be greatly appreciated. There's nothing like Southern Illinoisans helping Southern Illinoisans. Good morning and happy Giving Tuesday. I'm actually standing here on the Marion Square with Michelle Snyder from the Southern Illinois Community uh, Foundation. And I'm actually standing just outside of the Salvation Army here in Marion. And that's actually gonna be one of the organizations, the local nonprofits that are going to be benefiting from Give SI. Mark, I'm in Murfreesboro at St. Francis Care, and they are one of the organizations that are going to benefit from this event, one of many. It's going to be a 30-hour campaign that begins at 6 o'clock tonight and goes until midnight tomorrow. It's going to benefit over 80 nonprofit organizations. This is our first year as a community giving day, and we're really excited. Um, and we're here to announce that it is past 6 o'clock. Yes. So indeed. that means it is time to donate. Go on to www.givesi.org and choose your favorite local nonprofit to donate to. Mark, the campaign has been a huge success so far, but even saying that, we're not finished just yet. You still have time to donate until midnight tonight. And I'm here with Michelle Snyder, program manager of the campaign, and she's going to give us some of the big numbers. I already have a sneak peek. I've heard some of these numbers and they're amazing. So tell us yes. what we've got going on. During this, well, now we're at about 28 hour giving campaign of the 30 hours. We are at almost $102,000 to benefit 82 local nonprofit organizations. Thank you for giving more this year than ever before. Thanks to the generosity of the community and local nonprofits, News 3 WSIL and the Southern Illinois Community Foundation have raised over $100,000 during this year's Give SI campaign. That's over $100,000 in food, shelter, school supplies, and more, all benefiting our local community because of your generosity. Thank you.